Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is my distinct pleasure to welcome you to Submarine Base New London in Groton, Connecticut, and to the commissioning ceremony of USS South Dakota. I'm Lieutenant Commander Scotty Murphy, the ship's executive officer. On behalf of our crew, I would like to extend our sincerest thanks for joining us here today. Before our ceremony begins, I would ask you to please silence your cell phones for the duration of the ceremony. Thank you. We are here today to celebrate the commissioning of USS South Dakota, the fourth ship to bear the name of our 40th state. The first South Dakota was a Pennsylvania-class cruiser commissioned in 1908. She served in World War I in the Atlantic Theater before being renamed USS Huron to free her name up for the South Dakota-class battleships. The second ship to bear the name was BB-49, South Dakota-class battleship whose keel was laid but never completed because of the Washington Naval Treaty signed in 1922, which limited the displacement of warships to 10,000 tons. Deemed ineffective by the late 1930s due to German and Japanese aggression, the treaty was abandoned and construction ban began on a new class of heavy battleships. USS South Dakota BB-57 was commissioned in March 1942. Upon completion of her gunnery trials, she immediately steamed for the Panama Canal on August 16, 1942. On October 12th, she was assigned to several task forces in the Pacific before joining Task Force 61, where she took part in the battles of Santa Cruz Islands, Guadalcanal, Marianas Turkey Chute, Saipan, Tinian, and Tokyo. She is the most highly decorated World War II battleship, earning 13 battle stars. She was decommissioned in 1962. We are honored to have several members of our crew with us today. These heroes served bravely in the defense of this country, and we are proud to share the unique bond of service and ship name with these fellow sailors. Gentlemen, thank you for your service and protecting this great nation. Please join me in recognizing these heroes and all veterans present. The ship more before you, affectionately referred to as a boat by members of the submarine community, will soon join America's silent service. South Dakota is the 17th submarine of the Virginia class. With its sister ships, it represents a revolution in submarine design, construction, and mission capability. Brimming with leading edge technology and advanced engineering, this vessel brings versatility and firepower to the fleet. South Dakota and the Virginia class are among the most effective platforms of the United States Navy, and this warship takes another step forward in advancing the superiority of our submarine force. Able to operate in the far corners of the world's oceans undetected while connected to air, sea, and land-based forces in key shore facilities, these submarines are equipped to wage multidimensional warfare around the globe. South Dakota's adaptability makes it highly responsive to changing mission requirements and providing the nations with the capabilities required to be the distinctive factor in any conflict. In addition to anti-submarine, anti-service ship, and countermine warfare, South Dakota will support surveillance, special operations, and covert strike missions. Thank you all for allowing each of us to take the privilege to serve our nation as a part of your Navy while proudly bearing the name South Dakota. The submarine you see behind me was christened on October 14, 2017 at the Electric Boat Shipyard in Groton, Connecticut. Today she is complete and battle ready. We are all very proud to serve on the newest attack submarine in the United States Navy. Today's ceremony is a time-honored tradition that began with the commissioning of the Navy's first ship, a captured British schooner, the Margareta, in 1775. Since then, thousands of ships have undergone the transition from silent hulls to fully alive warships. My shipmates, our commissioning crew, hereafter known as plank owners, are in formation and ready. Will the guests please rise and remain standing for the arrival of our official party, honors, presentation of colors, our national anthem, and the invocation. Ladies and gentlemen, our platform guests, Lieutenant Commander Darren Dunham, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy, Command Chaplain, Naval Submarine Support Center. Former radioman and crewman of Battleship South Dakota, BB-57, Mr. Richard Hackley. Mr. Matt Michaels, Chairman Emeritus, USS South Dakota Commissioning Committee and former Lieutenant Governor of South Dakota.
Captain Jeffrey Hayden, United States Navy, Supervisor of Shipbuilding, Groton. Captain Brian Sitlow, United States Navy, Commander, Submarine Squadron 4. Mr. Ken Mahler, Vice President, Newport News Shipbuilding. Mr. Jeffrey Geiger, President, General Dynamics Electric Boat. Ms. Allison Stiller, Principal, Civilian Deputy Assistant Secretary of the Navy, Research, Development, and Acquisition. Vice Admiral Chaz Richard, United States Navy, Commander, Submarine Forces. The Honorable Dusty Johnson, United States Representative at Large, State of South Dakota. The Honorable Joe Courtney, United States Representative, State of Connecticut, 2nd District. The Honorable Christy Nome, Governor, State of South Dakota. The Honorable Mike Rounds, United States Senator, State of South Dakota. The Honorable Richard Blumenthal, United States Senator, State of Connecticut. Ladies and gentlemen, our ship sponsor, Ms. Deanie Dempsey, escorted by Senior Chief Petty Officer Adam Gulas, the Chief of the Boat. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Ned Lamont, Governor, State of Connecticut, escorted today by Commander Craig Liddy, South Dakota's prospective commanding officer. Ladies and gentlemen, honors to the Honorable Ned Lamont and Honorable Christy Nome. Platform and salute. Platform ready, two. Advance the colors. Platform and salute.
Retire the colors. Platform. Ready? Two. We would like to thank the Navy Band Northeast and the Naval Submarine Scores School Silver Dolphins Color Guard for their participation in today's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, Chaplain Dunham will deliver the invocation. Let us pray. Almighty God, we come together today before you to commemorate, to dedicate, to reflect. For almost 119 years, the submariners of the United States Navy have cruised the depths of the oceans. Every day for more than a century, very average, normal human beings, susceptible to all the foibles of mankind, have faced down their apprehensions, their uncertainties, their insecurities, left behind their families and those they hold dear to board vessels of peace for the sake of peace. From the Holland to the South Dakota, this has been so. And while these submariners patrol the darkest, deepest recesses of the earth, as far from the heavens as one can get, we know your presence, God, is closer than the steel of their hulls. Today we give thanks to you, O oh Lord, for strength and unity. Strength seen in the honest labor of shipbuilders, in the solemn duty of sailors, in the collective spirit of the citizens of South Dakota and our nation. Please remember to be gracious to those of us who through our imperfections seek honor, through our fears display courage, and in the face of the unknown demonstrate unwavering commitment to you, God, and to our country. We ask now for the blessings of omnipotent God on this soon-to-be United States ship, both now and into the future. May all who walk its passageways, who face the perils below the waves, may they feel the love of a nation behind them and the love of a God beside them. May you always guide them to the sailor's favorite port, home. In your holy name we pray, amen. Thank you, Chaplain Dunham. Will the guests please be seated? Ship's Company, parade rest. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Ned Lamont. Well, good morning, everybody, and to the sailors and their families and, their vet and the veterans and all the greater Navy family and Governor Nome and the people of South Dakota. You can come down to Connecticut and warm up anytime you want to. <laughs> and who would have thought that your landlocked state had played such a key role in our Navy mission going back World War II to today? And I just listening, this is an honored ceremony, the commissioning that goes back to 1775, you said, where, truth be told, probably the first submarine built in the world called the Turtle was uh, built in Old Saybrook, Connecticut. 